this video will be about Guangzhou Shenzhen Hong Kong Express Rail Link. This is part of the train system called High Speed Rail in China, which is the world's longest train system. With 16,000 km long, and it runs in a speed of 200 km per hour, it shortens the traveling time sharply compared to the, tip, to the traditional train. Uh, for example, the normal traveling time between Guangzhou and Hong Kong used to take 100 mi minutes, but now with the high rail, it just takes 48 minutes to travel, so it shortens the time by half, which is quite promising. Um, besides, there are more frequent um, shifts um, in this train system. So it literally just shortens the geographical distance like between Hong Kong and mainland. Um, in the long way it's gonna it's gonna boost Hong Kong's economy because it's expected that um, about ten thousand job new jobs will be created because of this project because of of the gas volume that it brings into Hong Kong is gonna favor the um, tourism, catering, and hospitality industry, which are the major industries in Hong Kong. So it gonna bring a lot of profits and revenue. But a lot of people question whether this is worth or not, um, because now it, it's announced that this project is exceeding the budget by 25.3.3 billion dollars and also it has to suspend it for three more years it was scheduled to be completed by um, by this year 2015 but now it's suspended to uh, 2018 um, so there's a lot of reason for the delay uh, first um, during the construction, um, in in 2009, there is a heavy rainstorm, and it caused a flood in uh, in the construction site, and uh, the the subway was filled with water, and uh, some driller was broke um, has broken down, and uh, because it takes long, it it takes some time to um, to remove the drains. And so it just uh, slowed down the project. And besides, there are many ad hoc changes along the project. Uh, the blueprint and the procedure changes, and it makes the construction progress to be pretty slow. Maybe it just takes a work two or three hours a day because of the changes. And um, so, um, for the budget, so because of the delay, it just results in the increase in the in the cost. Because the contractor was asking for reimbursement because of the suspension of this project, this construction. Um, so this this uh, extra amounts of money uh, has to be shared by MTR company, but actually. Um, it is shared by the test player payers because the Hong Kong government is the biggest investor in the MGR company and also the contract terms have limits um, MTR's responsibility uh, for uh, any extra charges uh, to just 4.5 billion so any amounts above this limit would be uh, would have to be paid by the government so which would be shared by the taxpayers so it just make more taxpayer questioning uh what's which are the money used for is it really worth when compared with the future economic economic um benefits is it really worth the price? Because there are a lot 
a lot of um, s sacrifice already made, a lot of bad effects caused by the project, like um, many buildings in Daigo Chui were found, they have they're um, they are becoming more unstable because of the the subway. Um, there's a explosive a drill underground. Yeah, many projects happening underground that may shatter the the solid the base of the buildings. So it may cause it may pose danger to those buildings, and also. Uh, one hit issue is that um, a village in the Shako would have to be removed because of this construction work. So, uh, so the government has to pay the reimbursement for two billion to those villages for them to move out to to settle down in the new housing and. Yeah, it affects a lot of people. Um, they cannot live in the village anymore, and they may have, they may have a really large space, but they cannot have it anymore. And also, um, there were some. Yeah, it it also has to do with some buildings. Yeah, it it makes some buildings. Um, to occur have having more cracks and more unstable things like that. Uh, there's also a village in Yunlong the um, suffered because of the water pollution. The agriculture is no longer possible um, because of the pond. The the fish all died because of the construction work nearby. A lot of lots of bad influence. Um, Disadvantages are um, caused by this construction. Uh, so not only the money cost, but also the environmental cost, um, the safety cost, and a lot of things. But I was thinking, what do we do if this project halts at this point? Because we have already uh, invested billions and billions of dollars. All the subway is already built. Um, the rest, Kowloon uh, station is already built. If we hard at this point, what, what are we gonna do with all the subway and the station? This space has been created, and um, if, if we just put it uh, void, um, it also. <laughs> Um, it, it it would be waste wasting all the money we have already invested. So I I was thinking, why not just um, we can look to the bright side, right? Because if we are at this beginning stage when everything is not yet happened, we can still decide. But now the village is removed, the construction work started, and um, all the money incurred we cannot just stop here i know there's the the amounts the extra amounts cost is really colossal 25 percent 3 billion but actually the train system is gonna bring up a lot of it it just um tightened the linkage between hong kong and mainland and you know the mainland china is such a large markets with lots of people if we can uh, attract more tourists more guests and tighten the linkage between the different industries between hong kong and mainland uh, in the long term i think it's gonna be beneficial but it, it may not be the revenue may not be um greater than the cost if we just Observe it for a few years. It may take tr 10 or 20 years But I think that this project is gonna be rewarding um, So this what I want to share 
Thank you for watching this video.